Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be delving into group theory. I'm a little bit nervous about this. I took a few abstract algebra courses, but it's been a while, so let's see how this goes. Group theory is an area of mathematics that studies algebraic structures known as groups. A group is a set equipped with an operation that combines any two elements to form a third element in such a way that four conditions are satisfied, namely closure, associativity, identity, and invertibility. For the next step in our journey, we'll delve into the abstract world of group theory. We'll begin by examining and understanding what constitutes a group. Consider a set G equals 0, 1, 2, 3, with operation star defined as A star B equals A plus B mod 4. Verify whether the operation star is closed under G. That is, does A star B belong to G for all A, B, and G? Well, the answer is yes, because A plus B mod 4 is the remainder from the division algorithm when we divide A plus B by 4. That remainder must be smaller than the modulus itself, which means the remainder is either 0, 1, 2, or 3. So that means this number right here will always be either 0, 1, 2, or 3. So yes, this is closed. So according to the quotient remainder theorem, a plus b equals 4 times some quotient plus some remainder, such that this remainder is greater than or equal to 0, but strictly less than 4. Therefore, the remainder r must be in the set g, and so a plus b is also in the set g. And so that means the operation is closed. Number two, is there an identity element in G under the operation star? If so, what is it? Well, in this case, the answer is yes, because with addition mod 4, the number 0 is the identity. Adding by 0 does not change the remainder. But to be more clear, adding multiples of 4 doesn't change the remainder when divided by 4. So the answer is yes, that identity is 0 since 0 star A equals... 0 plus a mod 4, which is just a mod 4. You know, now that I think about it, I don't know if this satisfies the property for identity because when I think about multiplication, 0 times anything is just 0. But here we got a. And so in this case, 0 plus a is kind of like 1 times a if we think about multiplication versus addition. So this feels a little bit uncomfortable to me. So I have to think about this for a second. This makes sense. The identity is zero since zero times a is just zero plus a mod four, which is just a mod four, which is this original element here. Number three, does every element in G have an inverse under the operation star? If so, what are the inverses? So the answer is yes, each number here has an inverse. The inverse of zero is zero. The inverse of one is three since one plus three is 4 and 4 mod 0 is 0 which is the identity here and the inverse of 2 is 2 because 2 plus 2 is 4 mod 0 which equals 0 and that's the identity lastly i'll state that the inverse of 3 is 1 although this is implied by commutativity since the inverse of 1 is 3 and modulus is commutative a plus b equals b plus a that means by finding the inverse of 1 We've also found the inverse of 3. I'll delete this although. I'll just say this is implied by commutativity. I should say of addition mod 4. Since the group G is not explicitly commutative, and we don't even have to prove that it's commutative. Let's see how ChatGPT responds. Fantastic. You've correctly verified all the properties of the set G under the operation star, demonstrating your ability to apply abstract mathematical concepts to concrete examples. You are correct on all counts. Nice. For the progress, ChatGPT says, in this session, we moved into more abstract mathematical structures by exploring group theory. You successfully identified a set G as a group under the given operation star, demonstrating a strong understanding of the core properties of groups, closure, identity, and invertibility. Thanks, everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.